Well, stop me if you've heard this before, but lots of quarterbacks among the favorites to win this year's Heisman. Oklahoma's Spencer Rattler, the favorite at 6-1, to one, followed by a pair of first-year starters. The lowest odds for a non-quarterback, Texas running back B. John Robinson. That, though, is 25-1. to one. The Heisman watch starts early. There's no question about that. And David Pollock, you're already watching. I know that. So in your mind, give me your Heisman favorite before we even play it down. I mean, I hate this because I hate going chalk, but Spencer Rattler to me just seems like a prime position. What do you have to be? You have to be in the national championship hunt. I think Oklahoma absolutely will be. I think they're the best team in the Big 12. Um, and I loved what I saw from him last year down the stretch. Remember, this is the dude that got benched in the Texas game and then responded and was on fire. He makes big plays. He scrambles around to throw outside the pocket as well as anybody in the country. So the pedigree, Lincoln Riley, it just it says that he should be the favorite, and I understand why. Yeah, David, I'm not going to get much more interesting than you are here. Uh, you know, I, I think it's got to be Spencer <laughs> Rattler. You look at, like you said, what Lincoln, Lincoln Riley's done, right, with Kyler Murray, with Baker Mayfield. Jalen Hurts was a finalist. Uh, I think it's an easy pick. And plus, the hardest game on their schedule, at least during the regular season, is Iowa State. And that's not a knock on them. But, you know, if you look at the rest of their schedule, he's going to be able to put up a lot of yards, a lot of touchdowns. So I think if you're a betting man, you got to go with Spencer Rattler for sure. All right, if that's the case, guys, and we agree, rare thing, by the way, when, Harry, does it wrap up? I mean, is it, is it over after September, early October? When do we get this wrapped up? I think we'll have a September Heisman that's not Spencer Rattler, but I do think that we'll know late October, early November. Uh, and I know last year it went a, went a little bit later because of Devontae Smith, but I think that's because he's a wide receiver and people didn't necessarily want to give it to him. So I think we'll know by early November. I think this is going to be a strange year because you're putting all these lists together and I'm trying to figure out who the best team is. And honestly, I don't know. There's so many unknowns at the top. When you CJ Stroud, could he come set the world on fire? Ohio State could easily be undefeated. We all know that, how talented they are. He comes out and starts setting the world on fire. All of a sudden, CJ Stroud's right in there. How about DJ Ui Ungalale? Week one, you got, you got Georgia. You ain't losing again with that schedule. They'll be right there in the mix. So I, I don't... I don't think this is going to be wrapped up quick. I think there'll be a lot of guys in it. Because, like, I think there's a lot of teams that there's just so many unknowns that there's not a I'm, – I'm guaranteeing you so-and-so is going to do X. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.